I'm Mercedes from Kitty and this is our humble abode. In our RV we have limited space with a lot of people so um, we're kind of like stuffing people every which way we can. Um, our driver Micah sleeps in the front seat while he's driving. I'm kidding. No, um, he drives and uh, sometimes when Ivy and Jeff uh, aren't sleeping up here he sleeps up there so this is Ivy and Jeff's bed and then on top of that our driver Micah sleeps up here during the day which kind of scares me because he's not sleeping up here right now which means that he needs to go to bed um <laughs> this is our garbage it's overflowing right now uh, because we're kind of it's like the last day of tour and we don't really care um, <laughs> so eventually we'll probably dump the garbage out um, but right as of now it's overflowing and uh, we're packing so everybody has all their shit like everywhere like there's bags uh, Justin our our merch guy has his Batman sheets right here um, there's a frigging pair of pants right here um, that's about it for this general area for this area of our RV um, this actually pulls out into a bed so actually two people fit on this um, tour manager Steve with a giant beard him his beard cuddles with our sound guy tissue um, and they make a really sexy man mess on, every night uh, cuddling on this this pull-up couch um, behind you right here uh, are Ivy stage clothes uh, they I can smell them from here because I'm pretty sure she hasn't really um, washed them since the beginning of the tour so um, as goes for all of our stage clothes, except for mine because I changed my pants because uh, I ripped a hole in the crotch of the pants that I was playing on, uh, in, and uh, now I have to wear a pair of booty shorts. And it's awesome. Uh, don't slam the door. That's the most important rule of the bus. Um, actually, don't slam door because uh, there's no the in it. Uh, basically, uh, the beginning of this tour, uh, the handle was broken, and we actually had to you know, slam it. So we all got into kind of the, uh, the habit of slamming this door. And then we got the handle fixed, and now if we continue to slam it, it will break again. So, friendly reminder in big block letters. Usually we keep water up here, but I think they're just pillows. I don't know what's in here. Fans. Um, our last, uh, oh, and Ivy has a snack box. This is where she keeps all of her snacks. It's like a box of snacks. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, uh, the no sign, that's the sign we put on the toilet when it's full, so you can't use it when the tank is full. We put the no sign on so you can't piss in the toilet. Although, I'm pretty sure that didn't stop me. Um, over here is our disgusting kitchen. Uh, this is Ivy's bowl. She needs to wash it, like, fucking now. Um, this is my Starbucks from earlier, because I really actually, we're all, we're Canadian, so we're obsessed with coffee. Um, even if it's not Tim Hortons, we kind of need it every day to function properly. Um, the sink here is, uh, I guess, not really a sink, it we kind of doubles as a cooler. That's where we put all of our beer and our wine. Um, and it chills nicely, and uh, that's how we get a cold beer, because our fridge really sucks. And it smells bad, so like there's really no point in putting food in there. Um, when, and I think it's because the fridge sat for so long while we were, you know, not using this thing. I guess uh, got a little skanky in there. It stinks pretty bad. Uh, the microwave does work, but sometimes it shorts the fuse out of the bus, so the AC will stop working. So you gotta be really careful when using the microwave. Um, we also have a stove too, but there's no point in us using it because that's ridiculous. This is where myself, Tara, and Justin sleep, our merch guy. Um, as you can see right now, we're packing and stuff like that. There's bags everywhere. I sleep in this corner. Justin sleeps in the middle and Tara actually sleeps on this side. So there's three people in this bed and uh, it's pretty cramped. Not gonna lie, but um, Justin is kind of a cuddler, so uh, that's a good thing about that. Um, except he shaves his arms, so he does prickle you if he decides to sleep with his shirt off, which is kind of gross. This RV is uh, where we've lived for the past couple weeks, and I think 
it's time for you to get the fuck out. So uh, I need to go take a nap. Peace.